Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Spork. Last episode, we got the 13th and 14th gym badge and we are now ready to head to Corellia's birthday party. So let's go and speak to her. Is everyone ready? Yes, we are. Then let's go. Okay, here we are, Mount Spoon. My mum's uh, gym at workplace is just up ahead. Cake. <laughs> so, about the plan to warn Hooper. With Felicia here, that'll have to be delayed until after the party. When the party's over and Felicia leaves, then we'll go to the desert. Until then, let's have fun. Okay, but first let's grab that TM. Smart strike, very nice. Anything on the left side? Got a Skarmory. Hello. Hi. If you don't have any Pokemon uh, that can learn fly, you'll be stuck here. So if you don't, I'm here to take you back if you need to go somewhere else. Oh, that's really cool. Sweet. Anything else? Oh. A birthday party to go to, okay. Let's head back then. And maybe we can get the 15th gym badge while we're here. I did a little bit of training, not too much, because it was a pain in the butt to go and heal up again, but I think everyone's kind of a bit stronger. I mean, Link needs to get to uh, 60, but I thought, because the next gym could be Steel type. Should be easy. Just use him and Crystal Caverns behind, okay. So let's go enjoy this birthday party, shall we? Oh, the security cameras, I was looking at it thinking, I thought it was like Necrozma and its arms. I was like, well, what's Necrozma doing there? But, ooh, happy birthday, Corellia. Everyone really is here. And the birthday girl has arrived. And the two I haven't met must be Voltsy and Emily. So, that's right. It's nice to finally meet you, Illumia. It's an honor to have you here. I'm sure you've heard this uh, countless times by now, but you two have been doing amazing work. They really have. Oh, I like the music. That's pretty cool. I'm glad to have met them. Almost everyone's here now, we're still waiting on the cake, but in the meantime, feel free to hang out and talk to people. I'm really liking this music. Can we heal up here? Hey! No, put the music back on. I kind of feel like everyone's staring at me, just like, he stopped the music! Like, literally, like, every character with... Oh, you look kind of creepy, I want to speak to you. Hi. Oh, Guardian. Hey, Voltsy. After all the adventuring you've done so far, it must be nice to have a uh, celebration, right? Yeah, definitely. I saw Striker, I want to go speak to him. Yo, what up? Even with my preference for nature over technology, I can still enjoy this party and these beats. Yeah, these beats are sick. Okay, who else should we really speak to? Never been to a birthday party with this many people before. Especially this many famous people. This is the best birthday party ever. Pretty good so far. We're still waiting on the cake, but in the meantime, feel free to hang out and talk to people. Okay, while we're waiting, I've got a magic trick, okay. Watch me pull a Litwick out of my hair. Oh. Hello everyone, I heard there was a birthday party. Hello Litwick, glad you could make it. A talking Litwick? Wait, Voltsy, didn't you say you had a dream about a, a talking Litwick? Linda also mentioned one in her diaries. I'm the, I'm the very same. So anyway, how's the party going? Are we doing anything fun? Right now, we're waiting on cake. Yummy, hope it, I hope it comes soon. Me too, man. I wonder what kind of cake it will be. I don't know. Oh, there's a nose pass there now, what? Was that there before? Um, there's so many famous people here, I'm gonna get as much as I can on film. And Voltsy, I'd like to interview you sometime. If you ever get access to Party City, meet me in the Nosy News building. Okay. It's been a while since everyone's gathered like this. I've had league meetings before, but usually only to discuss really important matters. Like the appointment of a new leader when one resigns. It's been a while since I passed on my leader title and I've forgotten what it's like to see everyone in one place. These days I spend most of my time developing my cyberspace project. Okay. I feel like someone important we should speak to but I just don't know who. If this party was in Norel, I'll be able to provide entertainment with my ice skating. There's no ice here for me to do that but I did the next best thing. I gave Corellia a free ticket to one of my shows. Usable any time. That's nice of you. Hi Voltsy. Been around so many people is a little scary, but I won't want to miss Corellia's birthday party. I'm also going to take Natalie up on her offer. Once the party's over, we're flying to Angela's Avery. Okay, cool. That's good because she's scared of flying, so it's been um yeah, it's been a while. Hold see, I got the job at Angela's Avery. I guess I'll be seeing you there soon. But for now, let's enjoy the party. Indeed. I feel like we have to talk to every single person, so I guess we'll just get started. Wait, let me talk to uh. 
you. Oh. Seven tier cake. Okay. All right. I'll start with you and we'll make our way down. Uh, good to see you, Voltsy. You've done more for Celios than anyone in the past few centuries, myself included. Yeah, fully fledged ranger in my book. Okay. I have reminds me I need to go to the ranger missions at some point. And so, same with the uh, police missions. If this is worth skipping leg day four, I'll just work out twice as hard tomorrow. Okay. The name's Mulder. I'm CLS's uh, ground leader. But I also happen to be a mud wrestler. I know you probably haven't seen us in action, but just based on your gut feeling, would you say I'm the strongest between me, Lee, and Analda? Yes. You already have my respect for fighting Team Portal, but now you you have even more of it. <laughs> hey. Normally, I feel like if I take a day off from being productive, it'll be a while before I feel like getting back into it. Getting back into it. I think that's why people dislike Monday so much. But I feel like I can make an exception for this. Okay. This is my first time being at a birthday party. Not normally a fan of big social gatherings. Me neither. I have a large family, and as a kid, I just wanted to be away from all the noise so I could hear myself think. I can relate. But it was uh, really nice of Thomas to invite us all here, and I'm glad Krillia is enjoying our company. Okay. Today, the most stylish one here is Krillia. Krillia is always uh, pretty stylish, actually. Her outfit was made by Silk Studio. Alright, cool. I heard the news. Congratulations on being all seven of our mascots. Passes will be available to others through more conventional means, of course, but you're the only one to get yours this way. I look forward to seeing you at the Battlefront here when it opens. I look forward to battling you too. Lick's face. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, punchline. Yellow. Braids. Inside. Radiant. Train. Horde. Dragon. Another. Yes. Close. Rest. Ocean. List. Electricity. Alright. <laughs> Wait, I can't get down. I have to go around. Oh, man. I already know what the cake looks like, but I can't tell. Isn't it fun knowing something other people don't? A little bit, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Uh, no matter what kind of work you do or how serious nature you are, everyone should take a break and relax sometimes. It's been a while since I took an opportunity to do that, so I'm gonna make the most of this party. It's so, like, distracting to try and read what they're saying while listening to this music. It's just so, like... Like, I'm not really... Uh, I wouldn't say I'm not into the music like this, but... It's just... I like this song. <laughs> Maybe we should turn this into a tradition for League members and their relatives' birthdays. Yeah, man. More cake the better. If Corellia ends up working with me in the future, the least I could do is go to her birthday party. She thinks it's amazing to have all of us here, but really it's amazing to us that something like this happened too. Okay, so I've spoken to you. Have I spoken to Lumia? I have. Uh, let's talk to you. Hi, I'm an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> I brought ice cream to go with the cake. Hey! Allow guests to have weddings and birthday parties at the Underwater Hotel. I've seen standard ones, uh, creative ones, and extravagant ones, but nothing quite like this. Okay. I love parties, I love cake, I love music, I love everything! <laughs> uh, how have you been doing, Volt? I've been doing alright. Have you been taking care of yourself and your Pokemon? Yeah. I know Lumia has a healing machine here, but I'll offer to heal your Pokemon anyway. Oh. No! Turn the music back on! Voltsy, I trust your journey's been going well. It has. I got Brutus situated with our society, and he's been doing community service projects. I have an idea. If you like, how about a double battle? It'd be you and Meta versus Brutus and myself. Okay, Brutus and I are former enemies, but now I think we make a great team. I'd be interested in a battle if Voltsy and Meta are. Okay, I'll support you, Voltsy. Let's go for it. Right, go, go, and cross. Uh, course up, I said Cresselia. The music still reminds me of something like from Chuck. Let's go for Blizzard. I just realized I was going to hit Noctowl as well, my bad. Oh, it won't, okay. Thought it would, but... It's all good. Stealth Rocks, that's fine. Oh, I love this music so much. Right, let's go for Dazzling Gleam. Not too much, but... Okay, you can stop with the Bone Rushes. You can stop with the Bone Rushes! Five times? Seriously? But you got a flinch on the cross- uh, Corsola, not Cresselia. <laughs> oh, man. Right, uh, I'm gonna confuse the Lucario. I wanna try and slow it down a little bit. So was 68, wow. Scold. Stop attacking me, man! I ain't done nothing! Okay. 
just not living. I'm going for a blizzard, just do as much damage as I can to both. Got the freeze on Locario though, let's go! Could you get any better than that? What a way to go out. Freeze on Locario. Oh, if anyone can like link me to this song. I love this. I just want to keep this to over and over. And it really puts me in the mood to watch Chuck. Like, I watch all of Chuck all five seasons, at least once a year. I haven't watched it this year because I took it off Netflix. And like, I'm in the mood to watch it. Got the burn, let's go. Cause just this song just sounds like something that's, that would be in Chuck. 100%. Okay. Not good. Shot, you missed, okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go blink. Let's fake out Electrovire. Slow him down a little bit. Are oh, you a signal beam? I think he's gonna take me out, so let's go for a psychic, do as much damage as we can. Try and get rid of you. They just love attacking me and not. Not me, though. Just not taking out um, uh, not tail. I understand I'm the bigger threat, but come on. Heck her, leave me alone. Oh, your own scenario, okay. It's not good for Looney Tunes, but I'll go for a fly before you avoid one attack. Go for bulk up? Oh, great. If goes for a dark time move, we're going to be in some serious trouble. Right, artillery's gone, good. That artillery is annoying. Oh, yeah, attack me, nice! Comes the knockout, okay, and let's go for a Shadow Ball and star me. You got a crit on me? Oh, at least you attacked your own partner there. Hey, they're not attacking me anymore. This is good. No, oh, you would ice beam me. Go on, Snorlax. I'm actually getting very close this battle. Alright. Brick break in Polion. Please, Incineroar, don't attack me. No, you probably will, but hopefully Snorlax can... No, we're dead. God, is this, is this the end of the battle? Please, the end of the battle. Oh, wow. Still going. Okay, um... It's probably best I revive someone, otherwise we are going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, Kamoro and Manaphy. Let's go Ari. Man, if you can't do much to us, and we can just dazzle and gleam the Kamoro. Right. Uh, multi attack? No, I want to hit Kamoro. Oh, I don't know who I actually attacked, to be honest. Wouldn't do much to Kamoro either. Okay, please don't run out of Pokemon soon. Um, it's going to revive. Lusamine actually, because we can get a bounce on Kamoro, it should take it out. And then get the Beast Boost Silverwind Manaphy. Maybe, we'll see. Don't attack me, great. Oh, you would switch. Oh, this is so bad. You got so many Pokemon. This is this is a tough battle. I just, I just got to revive. We're in such a bad position right now. We still have Pokemon left. But I could fake out Kamoro. Depends if that 
Man, if he wants to do damage to me. Yep. Okay. <gasps> no, hail! Oh, no, it's not the Blissey. This is so bad. Got the Glizzard Pod that's almost gone, but... Okay. No, don't defense Carl. Oh, we're gonna lose this battle 100%. This is such an unfair battle, man. Has she still got Pokemon left? Oh, that's, oh Mega, okay. It's just like kept attacking me, it's so annoying. She ain't gonna win. She's going for like terrible attacks. Do we have to like, do we have to win that battle? I feel like we might have to win it. I've spoken to you guys. So I feel like we just gotta... We gotta win that battle. I feel like we do. I guess you're right, dear. Okay. If we weren't already pushing the maximum capacity here, I'd consider bringing out a tour group with me. Okay. Well, you can't bring some random people to someone else's birthday party, but... Right, let's try this battle. Again, maybe... Oh wait, was it you I have to speak to? Right, so I feel like I've got to win this battle. So in that case, what we do... Alright, to make this go a bit faster. Just going to try and focus on one person, make it two on one. So it looks like they have six Pokemon each. This is going to be a long battle. Alright, I think... We'll come out next to Cinero. No, it wasn't Cinero, was it? Lucario. The Looney Tunes. Oh, that did a lot of damage, wow. Stealth Rocks, okay, cool. I hate hitting everyone. Alright, Fly, Lucario. We got this, we're gonna win. Probably second try, but it's all good. That did a lot less than I thought it was going to do. Okay. Oh, you got the burning prison. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's going to finish me up because of the hail. Okay. Can't go into, into Incineroar because of course the loss, so. Blink. Psychic Lucario, finish it off. Oh, wow. Thing is, because they're just a little bit too strong for us. Oh, they're in their 60s, like late 60s, and we're still like early 60s. Alright, that's two down for whoever is using the Lucario and stuff. I'm assuming maybe Brutus? Alright, light screen. Bug bite, man. That's annoying. Ouch. Right, what I could do is loose mean. And I could. Bug buzz artillery. Get rid of it. Get the beast boost. Try now, since they're both on their third Pokemon each. Don't attack me. Why, Glissopod? What did I do to you? Alright, this is a Stormy. Alright, maybe we'll focus on the left side because we can just get rid of you. Although, now you're paralyzing really weak. I might just focus on the right side. I've right, got to switch out because we can't stand against a fire type of steel. Although that works, just don't go for Surf, Starmie. Recover, okay, it's not cool. Not cool at all, but... I doubt you could take me, I'm gonna Dark Larry on um, Starmie. Right, Toxapex, uh...
knows how it's super effective, but just doesn't do enough. Come on, please flinch it. One more time, give me that flinch. Give us that lovely, lovely flinch. No flinch, okay. We're fine, we're fine. He's gonna get healed up. We're doing a lot better than last time, at least. A lot better. Early on, let's break, break it. Got a crit on me? That's not cool. The surf should do a lot to Incineroar at least. Ooh. Nice. What have we got left? Just these two. I'm gonna revive some people. Make sure I stay alive. Because I can brick break Empoleon. I know I can take out one hit. We can outspeed it, we can take out Incineroar now. Nice. Ice Cannon like should hopefully live. Didn't lower his defense, okay. Barely anything. It's gonna do a lot more damage than that, but it's fine. Ooh, that Surf doing work. In that case, let's take Electrifier. I don't mind losing there. Don't defense Cole. Not the time to be doing that. Okay, takes you out. Got a crit on the Blissey. Great. Right, gonna bounce. This is where it gets very scary. Wow, we missed? Are you serious? We actually missed? That's so unfair. Wow. Can't believe we missed that. Got the freeze on Kamo, oh nice. We defrosted. Of course you did. Is it? Come on, take out the Empoleon as well. Uh, oh, we got the freeze! Stay frozen. Oh my god. That freeze just came in clutch. Oh, we still have these two left. Let's go Dazzling Gleam. Okay. This is fine. If it's a one-on-one -on -one now, I can maybe do this. Okay, this is going to be a tough battle, but hey, I can do it. I can confuse right it. Please hit yourself, please hit yourself. Ouch. All it's going to take is you to get a crit and snap that confusion seriously. Don't be snapping that confusion, I need you to hurt yourself. At least once. If you don't hurt yourself once, we're going to lose. Seriously, snap out of confusion? What is that? Another ice beam, go for another ice beam. Okay, that's good. There we go. That's all I wanted. Nice, keep going. There we go. Actually did it. That was... I thought we lost that for a second then. Oh my goodness, that was so intense. Everyone was pulling their weight and taking their teammates into consideration. That's how double battles should be. We did it, Voltsy. We make a good team. Uh, yeah, we just about did it, to be fair. Have I spoken to everyone now? Yeah, I oh no, I haven't spoken to... I believe these four. Although, I don't think I've spoken to you. Uh, please remember to brush your teeth after eating cake. Um, never. <laughs> Voltsy, you sure have come a long way since our battle? Killer and I have both been busy since then. This is the first time I've seen her since we met you at the cafe. Maybe we'll see you at the ground, uh, grand opening. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. I don't know. DJ. Oh, DJ Ultra Beats. There she is. How'd you like this track? I chose it specifically for this party. Did a, did a banging, banging job. 
think I'm pretty good at picking the right music for the right setting, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Speaking of parties, I hope I'll see you in Party City sometime, Voltsy. Yeah, maybe. I feel like I've spoken to everyone now, but... Um... Who do I speak to now? Corellia? Um... No, I don't want to leave. I feel like I've spoken to everyone, but I could be wrong. Um... Alright, let me go speak to everyone again, and see what happens. Oh, there you go, I missed uh, Angela. So, we're arrived. I hope we're not late. We have a lovely seven tier cake made with lemon. Does look pretty nice. Orange, cherry, lime, grape, blueberry, and strawberry. Some of you may be more outgoing than others, but we thank each and every one of you for coming. The atmosphere here is so cheerful. Even the shy ones aren't feeling, sh uh, aren't feeling fearful. This is a big crowd, but the cake we made isn't a little either. I mean, looks quite little, but there's enough for everyone. Our entrance was graceful, but feel free to stuff your face ungracefully. Oh, I would. Whether you're bubbly or reserved, this wouldn't be the same if anyone of you were absent. This cake will be the most sweet cake you've ever eaten. But before that, Krillia has to blow out the candles. Of course. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Krillia. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Birthday beats. Thank you all for the cake. I can't even imagine how long it took to make. It looks incredible. Everyone, it's time to eat. I thought it suddenly occurred to me. Voltsy and Emily are both lead challengers. Here's another birthday present for you, Krillia. You can watch Voltsy and Emily battle me. Oh, that sounds like a great present. <laughs> uh, I'd love that. This is quite a big crowd. The whole league is watching us. Voltsy, you can go first. I'll give you time to prepare. Speak to me when you're ready. Alright, so the steel type leader. Um, let's switch our memory. What would be a good memory for steel? Like, fighting... Fire, I think ground. We haven't really used ground much. Ground memory. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! No, don't want to give ground memory to uh, a lot of nine tails. That would be very silly. All right, go with Link. Then we've got Loose Me. We've got our three main fighters ready. Let's do this. First, I'd like to thank you for coming to my daughter's birthday party and for fighting against Team Portal Two. Krillia may have already told you, but they tried to recruit me once. Barker didn't tell me their overall objective, which is the main reason I didn't trust them. I get why an organization would want to keep certain details private to outsiders. Kayla wasn't allowed to say anything about what she was working on, but when you use fancy words and grandois phrases that could mean anything to describe your group, that sounds suspicious. I prefer to work by and for myself to begin with. But if I'm going to join something, I at least want an idea of what's going to, what it's going to be about. It turns out I was right to be cautious. We can discuss Team Portal more later though, and believe me, I plan to. Let me to formally introduce myself. I'm Alumia Strillian. CLS is a steel leader. I'm a master of machines. Machines need to be cared for just as much as people or Pokemon. Neglecting one task could hinder their performance. You're in the Elite Four of gym leaders now. You've done well to get this far. This won't be like any gym battle you've had before. Okay, that sounds scary. Okay, uh, let's go flamethrower. I thought we can get the burn for a second then. Flash cannon. Okay. Defense drop. I should really switch out then. Alright, what's next? Silval- You got Silvalli? Gotta be a steel type Silvalli. No match against my ground type Silvalli. <laughs> oh, you got flamethrower. Oh no, it's fine. I'm not steel type anymore. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Alright, Magnazone. Shouldn't have levitate, pretty sturdy, right? Oh, I've got an air balloon though, so we need to pop that bad boy first. Ouch, now we can go for multi attack. Ooh, let's go. Age of Slash. Um, to do a bit of damage, Looney Tunes can go for a few Shadow Balls. Go for a Shadow Ball right back. 1 HP! Oh my goodness, that was so close! Oh, I don't believe that. Special defense dropped, nice. I can't believe it! 
Looney Tunes living with one HP. Comet in clutch, and we outspeed it, so I mean, it's gonna live. But if he didn't switch out, we would have beat him because he got defense dropped in he, so. You got lucky there. You got so lucky. And Blink can finish you off with a Shadow Ball. You ain't escaping that Shadow Ball, boy. Uh, Marwile, let's go. Silver Valley? And we'll go for that nice mo. Ooh, Mega Marwile. Level 70. That needs to do some grinding. I think. Lots of grinding. I'm a little bit scared that I won't be able to speed it. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, no! Bless me. Ooh. Okay, this could get bad fast. Um, just fake out. Teeny weeny bit of damage, why not? Ouch, never psychic. Come on, finish it off. Let's go. Oh, we beat her. You overcome the odds and broke down our walls. Yeah. Congratulations, you've earned the Iron Badge. And here's your TM. Got Flash Cannon, cool. Looks like to give you this for everything you've done. Ooh, Marwalite. If I had a Marwal, I would definitely use it, but we'll be able to use it without a Mega Ring, but I still have one more birthday present to Corellia, which I'll extend to you and Emily too. First though, it's Emily's turn to battle me now. Okay. It was an intense fight, but Emily emerged victorious. Congratulations to you as well, Emily. I was worried the uh, big audience might have made you too nervous, but it didn't at all. The party continued on for the rest of the day. There was more music, Cake Egan, and magic tricks. Everyone ended up falling asleep on the floor. When it was time to leave, Delicia chose to go with Felicia. The Guardian chose to stay for a little longer. The next day. That was an amazing party. Glad you enjoyed it. Maybe we'll be able to do this again sometime. Uh, but now, I think we should change topics. Uh, have you learned anything about Team Portal, or are they still keeping you in the dark? Faulty Emily, it will be helpful if you could provide anything you know too, since you're also involved. Faulty Emily and Crowley explain everything that's happened with Team Portal up to now. Uh, I see. There's a lot to take in. I guess that makes the three of your, three of your upcoming pre presents even more important then. Gotta be Mega Rings, surely. If you'd like to warn Hooper first, that's understandable. You've all figured out quite a lot already. I've been silent about Team Portal, so that's why I wanted to stay a little longer. Hooper and I already have a plan. You don't need to worry about it, but you can visit Hooper if, if it would reassure you. Okay, I guess we should have uh, figured you'd know about Team Portal. I haven't seen Hooper in a while, so I think I'm going to visit anyway. Although to be honest, I didn't want to ruin the mood of the party, but ever since last night, there's an ominous feeling about the desert. More so than usual. usual. Might be worth checking out then. Should we get back to the uh, data vault, so I'll see you around. Hopefully nothing bad is happening. We'll let you know if we see anything. We'll be back soon. Okay, be safe. So I guess we get it after we uh, after we come back. All right. So where is the desert? Um, are we the Tower of Truth? We're a Mount Spoon, aren't we? Which is here. So we need to head to the desert. But I think we're we'll in this part right here. Next episode, we'll go warn Hooper and uh, make sure team pull up to uh, no good. Well, 